right, so we are here to check out the Forbidden Nudes exhibition. Welcome to the exhibit gallery. Every month a new artist is featured and it's May 2022. And I would like to present to you for this Art, Wine, and Anarchy exhibition, Ken Sharon. Cheers, Ken. Thanks for being May's featured artist. My pleasure. So I'm going to show you some of my paintings. Please do. So Art and Anarchy fans, uh, this is the first painting I'm going to show you right now. It's called Hawaii, uh, Hawaii's Endangered Species because of course the Hawaiians themselves are endangered. Very few native Hawaiians 100% exist nowadays. So I put them there in the beautiful ocean to show their endangered status. Then this one here, this one here I did after the death of George Floyd and the whole Black Lives Matter movement started. And I wanted to do something that would maybe help people understand that we're, we're all one, we're all humans. When asked on a census what my race is, I always put human race <laughs> because we're, we are all human and races are, are not really a scientific thing. So I made her half and half yin-yang nudes both. Both halves are beautiful. And then Paul Gauguin was a big influence to me. When I was a young man, I read about his trip to Tahiti. That intrigued me. And so I ended up first going to the Seychelles Islands in 1978. And then I came out here to Hawaii in 1984. And so I painted a tribute to him here with two of his models, uh, homage a Gauguin. The one on top is from 1981 so that's like 43 years ago my french girlfriend at the time sylvie waking up sylvie awakening right here this one's called biophilia the love of nature and here in hawaii we have the ohia trees, or most of the forests are ohia trees, and, and the ohia trees are suffering from a disease called rapid ohia death. So I did this painting to try to, I guess, give them some love and hope that they don't, that, that they survive. About 60% of them on my property have died. Oh, wow. I've heard of that happening. So it's kind of a big issue. Yeah, there's birds and bees up there, and then the couple loving the tree. Show you everyone, I guess. Down here, a goddess swirling in the universe with a awestruck man, I guess admiring her. place where I live is called the art farm and so this is called life at the art farm it's my backyard I have an orchard with sheep and the sheep house and my sculpture there in the garden and then me and my wife Rebecca we don't often dress that way but for this painting we did There's also birds and bees in there. Bees, birds. F 
fruit. Beautiful. Apple trees. This, this painting on top here, it's called Jungle Love. And it's from a, a pose from, I found in, in a work by Picasso. But then I took the, the pose from him, but then I, I put the, the couple floating above the forest. And you'll see that there's yellow ohia, red ohia, and then there's cross pollination going on in the middle there. Because I have, I have a row of trees that's yellow, red, and orange. Because they do cross pollinate like that. Jungle love. And always the stars. I wanted to be an astronaut, but I wasn't good enough at math and science, so I became a painter instead. Okay, so this one is new, done especially for this show, and it shows self portrait in my studio, kind of imaginary studio. And I'm being inspired by the muse that's floating above me that I'm imagining in the shape of the smoke, I guess, that's coming from my cannabis cigarette. And because I'm, I, I, I love the astronomical subject matter, there I am wearing the Earth shirt, and there's also of the moon of Pluto the moon of Pluto's name is Sharon, like my, like my last name. So I think of it as my, my moon. So I put that there right behind me. A beautiful scene out the windows. Skylight. Fruit aplenty. And then empty canvases ready to be painted. Here's my painting. There I am. Now this one here is a painting I did long ago, 1991. So that's, oh my God, 30 years ago. An ex-wife. She left it with me. So now it's here for sale. I hope someone buys it. Better than it being in my attic. Okay, so, so this painting too, it's the first time it's being exhibited. I, I got the inspiration from a, a painting from India with, with Krishna and the gopis, river nymphs, and, and I decided to punify the painting and, and made, instead of them all being Indian, I have people of all races all together having a beautiful time celebrating their togetherness and and as i painted each one it was as if i got to know their personality they each developed a personality as i was painting them. it was a really fun one to do at first i was going to try to, to to put them all together and then sell them separately, but then, then I decided that they needed to stay together. Because I have some of the people swimming from one 
hand gets to the other. There's turtles and fish and people of all races together in Harmony. Harmony Lagoon, it's called. It's very much like that. It's like a storyboard. Yeah. And then I also included a lot of my drawings because some of the paintings start with drawings. They start as, as a drawing, my, my drawing of Gauguin. I did that first and then I did the painting. There's other ones. Here's the goddess that you saw earlier, the drawing form of it. So I do lots of drawings and then if I really like the drawing, then I'll, I'll go ahead and do a painting of it. So I have many drawings here too that are priced at $100 to $150. And then some smaller ones up here. This one's only $50. My wife once dropped a seed down the front of her blouse and I got the idea to do this after she couldn't find the seed. <laughs> <laughs> then there are some prints too. I have some small prints here, some cards. And then this one I guess I didn't show you, but Mother Nature. I have the painting there and the print. That's been a really popular painting, but I also, that comes from when I was in Paris. So I painted that in 1983, 1983. So these are, these are paintings from my whole career, 40, over 40 years of, of art that I've been making. And although I do paint other subject matter too, this is a collection of my nudes. And I called this show, The Forbidden Nudes.